first picture with a pavement in it. Woohoo! All right, well, what's up, Riders? Right? B Man 1313, and uh, welcome to this tiny, tiny adventure today. Where it's Friday, I just got off work. This dirt road is mile from my job <laughs> and uh, decided to uh, just come out. The Wiz stays on Fridays and works. She plans out her next week on Fridays. That way she can um, that way she can spend the whole weekend not having to work. And then uh, there's also people leave on early on Friday so that gives her her, you know, she's alone and she's she can work without anybody bothering her, so cool with me. I'm out in my uh, new to me. If you hadn't seen, I'm out in my new 2004, new to me 2004 Chevy Tahoe Z71. I wouldn't call this my dream car, it's just one of those cars I always wanted, and uh, it was just the timing and everything was perfect for me to get it. It was the right time for me. Uh, I work across the street from my house, so a 20 year old car is not that big a deal. If it breaks down, I still can get to work. I did not get rid of the Wrangler, so I still have my Wrangler uh, as my, you know, dependable vehicle. I don't know yet how dependable this one is or will be. I drove all the way to Asheville almost. It was Brevard and to pick it up and bought it and drove it all the way home. And the guy seemed very honest up front with the things that were wrong with it and the things that were not wrong with it. And he uh, he was pretty confident that it would drive fine. He was driving it every day and no issues. You know, it's almost like my Grand Cherokee where it's not having any issues motor-wise or anything like that. This thing's got less issues than my Grand Cherokee is having right now. And so, um, I feel pretty confident right now with it. And we'll see. We're going to, you know, we're going to gonna drive it. And we're going to enjoy it. And, uh, you know, I needed a V8. I needed not a V8. I needed something I could tow at least 5,000 pounds, if not really I wanted it as high as possible. The Grand Cherokee's had it rated at 7200. Um, I believe this one's around the same and so that I needed that. I, I, I had to keep something that could tow for our farm needs. We have to get hay, bale, bales of hay and wood and you know take the animals here and there and so I wanted something that would not hesitate with my trailer, any of my trailers. And the Wrangler just doesn't do that. And neither does the Subaru. Like I said, the Wiz stays after work for about an hour, an hour and a half. So I thought I'd come out and ride. Take a quick ride and, and just see, you know, feel it, see it, enjoy it. And uh, just get a feel for her off-road, off pavement. I don't foresee this, you know, being a rock crawler either. Look at this such horse in there. I don't foresee this being a uh, a rock crawl or anything like that. I, you know, I, I part of me is like it's just going to be a soft lander. <laughs> you know? Just uh, this kind of thing. But this thing I believe is way more capable than I am wanting to give it credit. You know, I've seen people taking these things off-road and really off-road. So, uh, you know, for what I do, I think it's gonna be perfect. Um, I did a video yesterday, just a walk-around video. If I find a better spot, cooler spot today, I'll probably will make another one because I didn't like where I was and this and that. But, um, yeah, you know, uh, I'm so happy, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy that I was able to go, you know, buy this thing cash out, and uh, and now I can. I don't have to rush. 
rush to sell the Grand Cherokee. I'm gonna put it up for sale probably early next week and uh, get it ready this weekend and put it up for sale early next week and, and we'll go from there. We'll go from there, so. Yeah. 2004, like I said, 2004 Chevy Tahoe Z71. It has uh, 201,000 miles on it. It um, it has a lift. I don't know how high. It has some uh, not off-roady rims. The tires are. The rims, not so much. The, the wheels themselves. The offset I don't like. I've never liked offset like that where it's just... I'll try to put a video or picture up of that while I'm talking about it, but that real deep offset, I've just never really liked. And so I'm going to try to find some 18s or 17s to put on. I wouldn't mind oof, the same size as I got on my Grand, um, on my Wrangler 2570, 17s, 2570s, I mean, I wouldn't mind something like that. That'd be fine with me. I've never been into just the monstrous tires. So yeah, um, that's, that's the plan. I've ordered just a few little, there's nothing major I need to do with the vehicle. I did order some O2 sensors. Um, that's the, the, uh, the check engine light is giving me the heated O2 sensors, so the ones past the chandelier and catalytic converters, and uh, I'll change those up and see if that clears the uh, check engine light. It's got a light on for the uh, airbag. He said this, this, it's the seat here that I'm in the driver's seat. Something was changed out, and it just does it didn't, doesn't like it, doesn't recognize it. So, not sure what that's all about. I think it's the pressure, pressure point or something on it. Not a big deal on that one. I'd like to get the check engine light fixed. Uh, that's really, you know, mechanically, that's really it. Everything's working well. Oh, I did want to put it in. I want to put it in auto four-wheel drive. I've been wanting to run it like that for a while. I was very upset with myself because I did not put it into four wheel high and low while I was test driving it. Um, in the description, he said it worked. And again, mechanically, again, what he said, she said, you know, but mechanically, he was a mechanic and he looked over it and he showed me some of the things that he fixed. And pretty good with it. I'm pretty happy with pretty happy with what I got. So now it's just a matter of let's take it out here. Let's see how it goes. And uh, let's see what we're going to do with it. I already have plans to build a box for the back, some drawers, to be able to have a bed. And uh, fridge and possibly I'm going back and forth on putting anything more than just a, a flat drawer system so I'm able to put the bed and then have some tie downs for my fridge and that would be all that's on top it's so big and cavernous I don't know cavernous I don't know that I would need much more storage. I've done really good, I think, of dwindling down my my Wrangler. It was uh wow, they fixed up whew, fixed up this bridge. I, uh, I feel like I've done a good job with the Wrangler whittling down little by little, very slowly. I carry way too much crap. But very slowly I feel like I've been um, able to 
take out the things that I just don't use or need or don't feel like I would use or need. So I'm hoping that I'm able to build some drawers and storage that will um, that I'm, I'm able to put everything in that I want in here without without taking up any other space. Nothing on top. That's my goal. If it happens, yeah, if it doesn't. I also thought about a removable storage um, box here on top. Or maybe even just a plain plastic, you know, like plastic tubs type stuff on top that can be easily moved out. So that way the whole point of the Grand, like right now the Grand Cherokee, the back seats are down and that Grand Cherokee goes and gets grain and wood. Sometimes if it's not big enough that I need the, uh, if it's anything that's not too big that I don't need uh, the trailer for, you know, it gets put into the Grand Cherokee. This one's much bigger. And so, yeah, um, we'll see. We'll see how that transpires. And um, I'm excited. I'm just excited to start a different build and do something. My goal with that is to get everything out of the, the Wrangler to either leave the Wrangler, depending on how this thing keeps going, either leave the Wrangler as a just a, a day trip vehicle or um, or seller. You know, I'm, I'm, I've contemplated selling that Wrangler and just picking up something else, picking up a two door or, or a day trip type thing, a day they ride dependable one, you know, like I don't know, you know, these are just thoughts going through my mind but I'm excited 